EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for July 27th, 2023. It is Thursday. The Thursday video forecast is proudly sponsored by North Penn Car Wash in Lansdale, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Keep your vehicle looking great all the time and stop wasting your money on those costly individual washes with North Penn Car Wash's Unlimited Car Wash Club. You can join at a very low price starting at just $13.95 per month and it's the only place where weather doesn't matter. We've had a more active weather pattern over the past month and a half, basically, since about June 10th onward. How many times you just get done washing your car only to have it rain the next day, and then you're wasting your money on that fresh wash you just got, right? Well, with North Penn Car Wash's Unlimited Car Wash Club, you don't have to break the bank to keep your vehicle clean. Just stop by as often as you like within the calendar month to get that fresh wash for that one low monthly rate. They are North Penn Car Wash 986 Sumney Town Pike, in Lansdale, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, proud sponsors of the Thursday video forecast. So we do have a very hot and humid day today. Look at these temperatures above me. This, are, this is ridiculous. Uh, 90 to 99, that's the air temperature, not the heat index. 90 to 99 is, is the spread in temperature today, 93 to 100 on Friday. The uh, temperatures that are getting close to the 100 degree mark are going to be most likely in the urban corridors. So when we go from like Baltimore, Washington, all the way up through uh, Philadelphia and Newark and New York City. The I-95 corridor, the urban corridor there, will be closer to 100 degrees as far as air temperature. The rest of us are still going to be solidly in the 90s. So no matter how you look at it, it's going to be hot, all right? And it's going to be humid, too, because we have a uh, ridging out here in the Atlantic. And you can see that right here. Here's a big high. You put a big H right there. And the return flow around this is getting the winds in from this direction. And that is a hot and humid environment. So the heat index values today will generally be on either side of 100. And then in the uh, either side of 105 by the time we get to... Uh, Friday. Friday's going to be the peak heating day this week, as you can see above me. 93 to 100 is the spread on Friday in temperature. So if you are in one of those heat-sensitive groups, take it easy the next couple of days. Don't be a heat casually. The National Weather Service actually has heat advisories everywhere here in the uh, orange colors. There's actually an excessive heat warning up here in the New York City metro area for uh, some very hot temperatures. Again, Newark, we're going for a high of 99. Tomorrow would be surprised if they had hit 100. Uh, as far as air temperature, and you're already already going to have heat index values at around 105 this afternoon. So not a very good day uh, to be outdoors. And if you can't, uh, if you can't help it. If you work outdoors, I can't really help you there, other than just make sure you're taking, drinking plenty of water, and taking uh, you know breaks in the shade or air conditioning if available. Okay. So today we do have. Uh, a system moving off to the north, this is, I uh, put a big L here, there's a low pressure associated with this, but there's also another weak boundary moving through this association with this. This is not a cold front, uh, but this boundary is still going to be there. It's with some upper level energy moving through in association with this area low pressure that is off to the north. And this is going to be a severe weather threat that's going to uh, produce uh, strong winds and a tornado threat across parts of New England. Our area, we do have a straight line wind damage threat today. That is, the, it's not a tornado threat today. Uh, we're looking at straight line winds uh, and locally heavy rainfall, frequent lightning. Not too dissimilar to what we had uh, two days ago. Okay, so this is not too dissimilar from that. I just don't think the coverage is going to be as much as we had that day uh, with that system. So you see the European model still is really not that thrilled with the amount of convection today. Uh, but here's the uh, NAM high res future stimulated radar starting us off at noon on Thursday. We move this forward and get into early afternoon. You see some storms starting to pop here. Uh, it's going to be mainly east of the Susquehanna River where this takes place. But uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms will quickly develop and kind of form a line here as it gets through time. It goes all the way through early evening. But uh, any of these storms, when they pop up here, any of these little storms that are popping up could turn quickly uh, quite strong or severe as they move off to the south and east. It could be any one of these uh, that are along this uh, line starting to form as it's moving south and east. Not everybody's going to get hit by strong storm, strong winds and, and uh, you know, torrential rainfall. It could be a quick in and out deal. It doesn't look like it's going to be something that's going to be lingering all day, uh, but there is something that just you have a quick line of storms moving through. Uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms that will go into early evening before that finally moves off the coast. And there is a severe threat with this, and that is shown by the Storm Prediction Center in this slight risk area. And it's gen again, it's generally east of the Susquehanna River is where we're looking at today for any opportunity for 
severe weather because it's going to be developing a little bit too late for these areas out here. I know they have a marginal risk here, but it's nothing really suggesting anything's going to develop that far west that's going to be of any consequence. Could be starting to get ramping up a little bit, but, uh, you know, out here at Williamsport State College, west of Harrisburg area, we're looking at, uh, I would say, peak winds there are probably limited to up to 50, and that might be generous. So once you get further east, uh, we're looking at the potential for wind gusts to, to uh, reach 60 miles per hour, and there could be some small hail involved with that too. Uh, but I think the primary threats are going to be the wind, number one. Number two is going to be locally heavy rainfall and any storms that we see. But this is a quick in and out deal. So it's not look, we're not looking at like one to two inches plus of rain in any area because we don't have training thunderstorms. This is looking at more like, uh, you know, a quick quarter to three quarters of an inch of rain and then it's in and out and that's it. And that's what we're dealing with today. So not as bad as two days ago, I don't think, in terms of uh, coverage. We had you know, hours and hours of rain uh, training storms over the same areas. I don't think we're dealing with that today because the shear is a little bit higher, so these should be moving through rather uniformly but uh, and again when you get in this environment with a hot and humid environment like we're dealing with today 90 to 99 i mean it doesn't take much it's like like i always say it is like lighting a match in a fireworks factory when you have a weak just a weak boundary to vicinity is enough to do it okay in this environment where it's very hot very humid those are uh, the dew points being that higher is a key ingredient to this whole thing so uh and of course the hot temperatures so it doesn't take much it doesn't take much at all to spark storms and some of those could get a little feisty okay so that's today. After this point, again, we're hot tomorrow, but we're not looking at any thunderstorm activity here on Friday. Uh, so we're looking at a mostly sunny day here on Friday, but it is going to be, again, impressively hot and humid again. Uh, the, where's the relief? Well, there is relief coming. It's going to come on Saturday. Later on Saturday afternoon and evening, we have a line of scattered showers and thunderstorms moving through again. This is going to be in association with another area low pressure up here. This is a bona fide cold front, however. This is not a, I'm not putting a dashed line on this one because this is an actual cold front that's going to bring in a trough and cooler, more refreshing temperatures behind it for the second half of the weekend. So we're looking at, um, you know, hot and humid still on Saturday, probably not quite as hot because as Friday, because we're going to have clouds increasing, you have the storms in the afternoon, that kind of thing. But we do have uh, temperatures in the 90s here again uh, for most areas here on Saturday before this moves through, scattered showers and thunderstorms move through. And then on the opposite side of this on Sunday, we are dry, but uh, partly cloudy skies. Temperatures are going to be in the lower 80s for highs on Sunday. And humidity is going to go way down uh, and it's going to remain low for the remainder of the forecast period uh, through Wednesday. Okay, so we're looking at dry conditions, mostly sunny here on Monday. And same thing here on Tuesday, mostly sunny skies. Then we have Wednesday as a partly cloudy day, but uh, temperatures are generally in that 80 to 85 degree range for that entire stretch, which is going to be very, very nice if you're not a fan of the heat and humidity. And I will tell you, uh, from a long range perspective, it does look like this is going to last, you know, near to slightly below average straight through about the middle of the month, middle of, uh, of August. We're looking at this and these temperatures staying in place like this. And then once we get in the second half of August, I think we start increasing the temperatures relative to average again. That's going to go all the way into September, actually. Early September looks pretty toasty as well. So summer's not over. It's just it's just a short uh, heat wave that we have here. And we haven't had too many of these this summer, but we are going to get a, a reprieve from that uh, beginning on Sunday once that cold front moves through overnight Saturday night. I'm BPA, WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for July 27th, 2023. Have a great Thursday.